Hi, I'm Jiefen, Product Manager in the Microsoft Purview team. Together with Priya, we're going to show you a demo of the Azure Storage in-place data sharing with Purview. Thanks, Jia. Hi, this is Priya Shetty. I am a Product Manager with Azure Storage. And as Jia mentioned, we'll be walking through a demo today for Azure Storage in-place data share with Microsoft Purview. We'll start with a brief overview of the feature. So this in-place data share feature for storage with Microsoft Purview is applicable for ADLS Gen 2 and Blob Storage. This will allow you to basically share data both within an organization as well as across organization. It has a number of benefits such as the ability to centrally manage share activities. There is no data duplication. There is near real-time data access to shared data and the data provider only pays for storage, whereas the data consumer will pay for access based on actual usage. Now, let's go into the demo where I'll walk through the flow of what does a provider need to do to share data with consumers, and then Jia will walk through the flow for a consumer. So as a provider, I go to my Purview account, I go to the Data Share tab, and basically click on Create a New Share, here I can give the share name. In place share is something that is chosen by default. And then I can enter a description for my share, for my consumers. The collection, which is a way of collecting different assets is defaulted to root. So I just click on continue. Next step is to add assets to the share. So I will choose an ADLS Gen2 account as my source storage account. When I'm doing this for the first time, I need to register my storage account through this UI. For this demo, I have already registered a storage account, so we will use that. So I go ahead and choose that ADLS Gen2 account as my source, and then click on Continue. Next step is to go to the container where I want to share data from, and I will choose to share a couple of folders and a couple of files and add it to my share. As a provider, I have an option to obfuscate the details of my uh, asset so I can go and rename anything out here in this UI and then click on continue. And the last step is to add recipients for the share. So since I'm sharing it with Gia from Fabricam, I enter her email address. In the programmatic experience, I can also enter SPNs and object IDs. And I also have an option to choose an expiration date if I want to share this data time bound. Next step is to create and share. So this step basically finishes the provider flow where a share is created, assets are added, and an invitation is sent successfully to the consumer. Now Jia will walk you to the consumer flow of uh, Fabricam. Thank you, Priya. I just received an email telling me that Priya from Microsoft has shared product data with me. I can view description of the share, and to access the pending share, I can either follow the link in the email or go to my Purview account directly. I'm going to go to the Fabricom Purview account to view my pending share. Within my Purview account, I can select Data Share and the Receive Share. I can see the product data share from Priya. I can view details of the share and specify a receive share name and click Accept and Configure. Next, I can specify an Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 account, which I will use to view the share data. Note that there's not going to be any copy of the data being sent to my ADLS Gen 2 account. And I need to select a storage account in the same Azure region as the source. And if I haven't registered a storage account yet with Purview, I have the option to register the storage accounts. Next, I will specify a container name and the new folder name, and click Map to Target. The mapping process will take a few minutes. What's happening behind the scene is a link is established between the source data store and the target data store, and this will allow me to view and access 
the shared data read only in near real time in the target data store that I have specified. Now the mapping is successful, I can go to my storage account to view the data. So click on assets and select the target storage account. Select the storage browser from my storage account and the blob container. And I can see here the product data from Priya that container has been created. And I can now go into the container to see the data. So I can see two folders and the couple files that's been shared with me. I can further drill down into a folder to see the data that's stored in that folder. And any change to the data on the provider side will be reflected in near real time for me. To analyze this data, I can use Azure Synapse Spark or Databricks. This is the end of the demo. Thank you.